Hey guys, someone on uh, YouTube asked if this printer could really, if the Cubicon Single Plus could really print at 500 millimeters per second. I do not know that answer because the fastest I printed is 100 millimeters per second with uh, infill and travel speed at 200 millimeters per second. Um, so on High Vision's website, it says the max speed of the Cubicon Plus is 500 millimeters per second. But uh, I wonder if it will really print that quickly. Well, I'm going to give it a shot here with the Benchy, the 3D Benchy from, um, I guess you can get it from Thingiverse. Let's see here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is change the support speed to 500, the travel speed to 500, the inner wall speed to 500, definitely outer wall speed. I'm going to leave the bottom layer at 20, the infill definitely at 500, and then retraction speed we're going to keep at 40. All right, she's printing. This is at 500 millimeters per second. This is the uh, Benchy print. It's definitely flying. I'm interested to see what the surface finish quality is going to be like on this going this quickly again this is being printed out of ABS plastic this is the max printing the max printing speed of this printer all right let me turn on the light here Alrighty. All right, guys, here you go. These are the two prints um, for my Cubicon Single uh, Plus at 500 millimeters per second. Um, the one on the left was with the the QB Creator software. That's the software that comes with the uh, Cubicon Single. The one on the right was done with uh, Simplify 3D. Um, the one in Simplify 3D definitely does not look as good, but that's probably because I, I put in those settings myself, and when I run it at 100 millimeters per second, it's perfect, but when I jack it up to 500, or excuse me, in uh, Simplify 3D, it's millimeters per minute, so that was 30,000 mill. was it, excuse me, 30, th yeah, 30,000 um, millimeters per minute is my settings for the Simplify 3D, but I didn't, you know, like I said, the settings weren't perfect. I bet you, you could get as good, if not better quality with Simplify 3D software. But actually, I think they turned out pretty good. Yes, the, um, you can kind of see the shakiness of the print. Um, but man, it did it. No, uh, I didn't print with any supports whatsoever. Um, I did mess up on this one. I had it print with the fans on 100%. So it had a tiny bit of warping at the bottom. I shouldn't have had the fans on, but this was, like I said, with the um, with the stock software at 500 millimeters per second. It's printing really quickly, but I think it actually turned out pretty darn good. Alrighty, and then this one, like I said, I probably didn't have the settings right to begin with, but that was the Simplify 3D software. I actually prefer Simplify 3D over the stock Cube Creator software, but um, for right out of the box, uh, the settings from the Cube Creator with the um, 500 millimeters per second did turn out better. Alright, thanks.